Well, there's Mr. Leo. He's getting up and exploring. He's eating. He sleep. He slept on the bed with me all last night. Um, this guy Onyx hissed at him, but that's to be expected. That's to be expected because Onyx is a very friendly cat. He's just unfamiliar. Who's this guy coming to my territory? But they're not. Uh, Goldie's kind of like standoffish, and he's just standing there and being nearby, kind of investigate a little bit. Goldie was very good with him. So, right, right. You're doing okay. You get those sleeper things in your eyes, but you're doing good. You're doing good. <laughs> he seems like uh, he seems like a pretty. <laughs> oh, what the hell? He he's a super mellow cat, man. I just didn't, never expected this guy to adjust so fast. He never hid under. He, well, he took to me right away. It's weird, you know. It's like I, it's like I known him for years or something, which makes me wonder: this Putin's uh, spirit in him somehow? Maybe uh, when we get Azrael, Rocky spirit will jump into him. Who knows? Who knows? I don't know how that works. To tell you the truth, very good, very super duper good, very 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 good, right? Right, sweetie pie. See, this is this is what the cats do. They, they um, see, they they hang out. They kind of stay a little distant, and they kind of hang out for a while, and they just stare at each other. This guy's a super, he's super friendly. He is, by nature. He's a playful little doggy. So, so he is, right? I mean, it's been about, about 24 hours now, and it's, you'd think it was months. That's the way things are going, so... I gotta get another litter box, litter box too, because I'm gonna have five litter boxes in here for four cats, maybe five cats. We're probably gonna get Azrael because uh, I don't know. I don't know. Like that, that'll be my limit, though, because I can't, I can't go past that. It's four is quite a bit, actually. But we'll just, we'll have to wait on Azrael for about a month. I want to make sure everything's okay, going good, right? Right, sweetheart? He's washing his face now. Get them sleepers out of there. He's doing it. He's doing it. He's doing it. And I'll be giving him the Adblight vitamins. Um, had a little bit of that colostrum in the food. The diet, the food grade, diatomaceous earth. And of course, they put a little tuna broth in there. And I gave him the dry food that he got. He came with him. With along with some of the American Journey, I, I put a few treats mixed in there. I'll mix it all up. He likes the dry food too. He likes both of them, the wet and the dry. They all kind of like the American Journey, but they don't like eating it all the time. So, you know, you look pretty good, Bubble. You look pretty good. You might be a little older, but who knows how old you are, but we'll find out. I'm going to try to keep you good to go. I don't know. We're going to say you're... I'm going to make up a day for when you're born. June 7, 2018. Because Putin was born on June 7, 2012. So you'll be June 7, 2018. They think you're born in 2018, somewhere around that time. You might be a little older, but who knows? I really don't know. You look like you're young, but it's very hard to tell. Sometimes they could tell by the teeth, because of how the yellow they get, but that's... That's here and there, too. It's kind of difficult. Did you believe somebody abandoned this guy, basically? Not totally abandoned him, but basically kicked him outside. He's an indoor guy. He's a friendly, friendly boo-boo. You're used to the humans. <laughs> I didn't get a microchip yet, but we will be in a, we'll be doing that probably next few, probably a few weeks from now. The way he is, I think it's not going to be too hard to get down to that place. You know, microchipped. And he's got, um, when he, he came over, he already had the dewormer. They gave him the dewormer. And uh, they gave him all the flea stuff to knock out all the fleas. So he's all clear on that. So I, get, I think when I microchip, it might be about four weeks from now. And um, he'll get um, the Revolution Plus at that same time. Tell you the truth, I'm sacrificing a lot for these cats. Because all I'm doing is... I'm pretty much just eating vegetables and tuna fish. Basically, that's it. 
vegetables and fish. Losing weight, too. These guys are fed way better than me, but I'm eating good food, though. I'm not eating any junk. You'd be surprised. It basically screws you up. It does, uh, it, you know, the garbage food, it's expensive, and it's no good for you. The good food is actually cheaper, but I'm watching, I'm watching everything just so I can take care of these guys, right? You puppies are nice. You're good people. And I agree. Cats are better than humans. <laughs> Most humans, anyway. I'm the big furless cat in this place, right? You know that, right? Anyway, over that.